I don't want to get into it. It's a sore topic with me. It makes my gel ripple. I bet. Uh, but are you sure? I'm a good listener. Got the uh, ears for it. Great. Psychology. Clearly the worst of the sciences, right after colosto diuretics. Okay, so my name is an O. Never was. It was circular, a single character, digit, but not O. But even with enhanced sensors, no one here could get it right. Always kept seeing the letter, not the number. Ah, uh, well, if they kept confusing the letter with a number, your name is Dr. O. Dr. Zero? Yes, thank you. Zero. I am zero. How hard is that? A narrow, thin zero. Well, <clears throat> all right, so you want me to call you Zero or... Zero's my name. I'm proud of it, all right? It doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Truth be told, my emotional attachment to it doesn't even register compared to just having people recognize the difference. It's just that they're both sort of round and hollow, so when they monitor scan them, they assume that, oh, it's O. Oh. Vivisect me, please. Oh, damn! See, I knew having super high intelligence in the beginning of the game was good for something. If you wanted to differentiate the O oh and... Zero, just put a slash through the zero. What? That's what I've been saying! Uh, zero. Draw a slash through it. It's a standard term link code to distinguish to. Did... Did I shoot myself with a brainial beam or something? That's brilliant! I mean, I would have come to the same conclusion. <laughs> Eventually. Absolutely. Oh, uh, who am I deceiving? I never would have figured that out. I can't figure anything out. I'm... Uh, I'm useless. Marvelous. And that's what truly makes you a zero. Exactly. At least the old name was indisputable. O oh, is more like surprise. Oh, look what I stepped in. Oh, shut up. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Well, there's power in zero. It reduces anything multiplied against it to zero. Well, of course it does. That's the most lethal of mathematics. That's pretty cool, actually. Destroyer of numbers. I already wreck every robot I study. Why not basic arithmetic? I like your solution. With that kind of slash in the middle, I can set myself apart. If I wanted to. They make a zero in all the think tank. They won't be able to escape it. That diagonal slash right down the middle. Thanks. Talking to you, it really helped unclog some frustration. Talking. What a primitive form of thought kicking. Uh, so, Zero, got any amazing discoveries to share? You know, hearing my name said like that, it really derezzes my screens. As for discoveries, well, of course. Look at this. Just, uh, built it. Amazing, isn't it? You just built scrap electronics and scrap metal. Uh, this scrap metal is supposed to be something? It's a discovery, kilomiles beyond your understanding, that... You know what? I'm not even gonna pretend. I broke one of the monitors, and those innards start falling out everywhere. If you could just hold on to that for me until, well, forever, that would be welcome. Well, I have inventory space, so I don't think I will. Uh... <laughs> I need more of those worthless caps to test the CIU barter functions upstairs. I'd have a few left. Let me check. Yeah, there were a few under the monitors here. Here you go. Keeps the place tidy. Fifty! Okay. <laughs> Tell me about Mobius, or Mobius and these monsters of his. The genius Mobius somehow cobbles together these really impressive looking robot scorpions with spare parts. Even painted them. Try to see what makes them tick. Can't even examine them without them detonating all over me. Left with shrapnel and burns. Every 
time. Supposedly, he has even larger models, even a giant robot scorpion, hidden deep within the Forbidden Zone. Yeah, right. Giant monsters, sure. Uh, a giant robot scorpion? Yeah, crazy, right? Something right out of a midnight science fiction feature. Ridiculous. What are the odds? I know. <laughs> giant robot scorpions? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Like that would ever happen. <laughs> Can you tell me about this facility? Big Mountain used to be a mountain. Then there was a slight mishap. Now it's a crater. The dome used to be buried. Now it's exposed to the sky. Don't get me wrong. Makes the sky light up like a planetarium at night. All those spectra. So soothing. Uh... Okay, that's enough. Until our next scheduled audio transmission and reception, then. Yeah, I did notice... Oh, what, the first guy had a quest, this guy had a quest. I didn't get a quest from this asshole Klein up here, so I think maybe I should talk to him again. Did you retrieve the technology? No, I didn't. Shut up. <laughs> Okay, why do I have this strange passive sensation in here? It's a side effect of the cerebral scrubbing. It won't stop you from excreting. Or asking questions, apparently. I have to correct that next time. Hormonal aggressive tendencies are actively suppressed, however. They are a no-no and not permitted in the think tank. The scrubbing also ensures your silence to keep Big Mountain safe. This facility is top secret, and you cannot speak of it to anyone outside of Big Mountain. Should have done it with the last batch, and the anti-aggression scrub. Uh, why the anti-aggression programming? We had to take precautions after the last visitors. They caused a great deal of damage in a short time. Should have made sure they couldn't mention Big Mountain once they left. An oversight. Uh, who were these visitors? Dr. Eight and Dr. O could tell you more. Dr. O more than Eight. The battle against the visitors damaged Eight's voice module. Suffice to say, those visitors are unwelcome. They stole a great many secrets and much technology. Impertinent. They also broke one of my trains. <gasps> Those bastards! <laughs> but yeah, he's referring to uh, people that we might meet in another DLC. Oh, there's that Questo. Uh, ask Dr. O. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, so what is this place? This is the Think Tank. The nerve center of Big Mountain. The greatest research center known to man and to us. Here we test and test and test some more in the name of... Science, atomic power, nuclear power, and scientific power. The best kind. Uh, I've heard this place called the Big Empty. Yes, because the intellectually challenged see an M and a T next to each other and take Occam's razor to it. While you are here, you will refer to this place properly, and you will do the same with the other scientists here. Yeah, when I first played this uh, DLC, I was confused as fuck in regards to its name, because, yeah, in some instances, they say Big Empty, you know, it's fucking empty as if there's nothing in there. It's just open space, empty. And then, they say Big Mountain, and then they have MT. So I'm like, Big Empty or Big MT? <laughs> I wonder if that was intentional. I think it was. Uh, but yeah, that confused the fuck out of me in the, the first time. Like, which is it? But uh, I'd like to know more about the uh, Forbidden Zone guy. That glowing red scar? That laser lobotomy canyon maze carved in the landscape as if by some child? It is Mobius's fortress. From that hemorrhoidal fissure, he sends his amazing robo-scorpions to terrify and irritate us. <laughs> He always tended to the dramatic. Okay. Uh, can you tell me more about these, uh, you know, these pylons? Ask Boros. I believe he knows more about the fence than any brain. Except maybe Mobius. Mobius was involved in their construction, if I recall. But he's such a hack, he probably was reading off Boros' notes and schematics. Okay. 
Uh, I have some questions about this brain extraction you all performed. Well, we didn't actually do it. We tried to clean up after, as always, but usually the auto dock runs on remote. But we programmed it, or Mobius did. Still, this new wrinkle with the Tesla coils in your skull was unexpected. I mean, we predicted we'd have a breakthrough eventually, but... Dala knows more. She supervised your spine peel and the heart circumcision, then dumped them both into the tanks in the sink above. Quite sanitary. Sure took her time. She always takes longer than projected with lobotomite surgeries. Not sure why. Uh, you said before that Mobius might have my brain. Yes. In all probable likelihoods, yes. Possibly. That it may have gone to Mobius is merely an inkling. I don't know why, but it may be something involving the surgery code. Actually, I don't know. All I know is it misplaced itself, or it floated off. They get into robots sometimes and go on a tear. Um... Mobius set up the autodoc medical routines? So you think he's responsible for your post-organ dump? Yes. Always leaves back doors into things. Have to keep finding them and closing them. The auto dock is now erased of his routines. It was thorough. Only Mobius would know for sure what happened with the procedure. Perhaps. Well, and your brain, of course. It would know as well. Um, my brain would know. It can communicate the procedure when we examine it. It is conceivable to trace its surgical scalpel prints once we have the brain. Might take some time, but your brain has no pain nerves to scream at us while we dissect it. Convenient. I detest screaming in my lab. Of course you do. Of course you do. So, uh, what's this autodoc surgery code you mentioned? Mobius's legacy code was in the old autodoc. Yes. It fried itself after your procedure so he couldn't tell for sure. It is unfortunate. We would have benefited from knowing how the breakthrough occurred. Even if we installed another chip, the information is lost. Well, uh, why would Mobius want my brain? Why does he seek our destruction? Why did he build robot scorpions with intelligence training stingers? It is because he hasn't cleaned his biogel in a long time. Clearly he's got some sort of psychological corrosion. He's mad. Uh, well, these uh, mechanical ra or robo-scorpions, uh, they consume intelligence? Are you certain of said findings? Dr. O is certain of his findings, and no one else in the think tank is willing to test the results. Loss of brain power. Terrifying. O has said on many occasions his inability to comprehend Mobius' robo-schematics is because of repeated robo-scorpion stings. Oh yeah, that sounds believable. Alright, goodbye. Yes, a most goodbye. Yeah, I'm fucking watching you, guy. Alright, so who did that want me to do? Or talk to... What, whatever. You know, I'll do it after Dala here. If it isn't the fascinating little lobotomite. Yet yeah, I am quite amazing. You are an unusual specimen to so boldly walk into the mighty expanse of the think tank. Fearless and proud as a teddy bear. Between the extraction of their higher reasoning abilities and urination-inducing fear, most lobotomites dare not approach us, let alone speak to us. Yet you have no such fear. Facing me, epidermis fleshed with blood, plasma running molten beneath, your face contorting with muscular expression. Will you indulge me? Say a few words. Face towards the monitors, please, so that I might record it for further examination. Well, uh, the... Hmm. Uh, the quick scribe jumped over the lazy paladin. Yes, yes, go on. Seeing your lips and mouth forming the words, both revolting and somehow... How does it feel to have the flesh roll around in your mouth like that? To control each muscle and the tongue? 
Like having a fish or extremely dexterous slug lolling and flopping in one's mouthful cavity. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, no! Hey, what kind of perception check is that? Uh... Perception? What could... What could bump that up two points? <laughs> Until our next interaction, my intriguing little lobotomite. Yeah. I, I'm gonna look. I gotta see if I have shit inside here. Alright, uh... Perception... I don't know if anything can bump up perception, really, because I'm already br already wearing that one hat. Rather nice hat, I have my say-so myself. So, let's, uh, let's see. Perception. Nope, 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 nope. <gasps> Mentats! I did not know they would put up perception. I just knew it was intelligence, among other random things. Yo, Dollar bitch! And you return as curious as a teddy bear. Are you stuck in a looping gesture of greeting? Uh... Looping gesture of greeting? Looping, yes. It is a scientific fact that hormones drive a percentage of lobotomites into recursive behavior patterns. We haven't researched this, as my colleagues care little about the behavior patterns of lobotomites once their brains are removed. It is why so many are littered around the facility, like skin envelopes, discarded after they are peeled open and the contents extracted. Uh, uh, what recursive behavior patterns are you talking about? It varies according to the number and density of lobotomites that have infected an area. In 43% of observed cases, two lobotomites left alone will fight for dominance or inject bodily fluids into each other's orifices. Oh, I want to go to that party. Sanitary. I have tried to observe more cases. But subjects seem unwilling to release bodily fluids in my presence. Uh, I can't help but notice your fascination with the human body, yo. What? Nonsense. <laughs> uh, close eyelids, breathe deeply, and stretch languidly? What? What are you doing? Uh... <laughs> Run your hands along the side of your face and exhale rapidly. Stop it. Why? Why are you making me partake in this filthy formography? <laughs> uh, I don't know what happens if I pick the same one more than once, but, uh... Turn and cough roughly and slowly scratch nose. Enough. I am already intrigued. You have sufficiently percolated me. I don't know what it is about the biology of lobotomites. It... it infects my thoughts. All that skin and muscle and tissue. Hmm... Uh... Man, these are both good choices. You know, I may have to... I may have to keep you all alive. Why don't you just give in? There's nothing wrong with looking at the body. Perhaps, perhaps there is value in what you say. I, I did so enjoy breathing once, long ago. Uh, I could come back any time and just breathe, if you want. Would you? I feel so ashamed, but yet so intrigued. You'll need to give me a rest in between visits, or else my gel might run over. Okay, if we need ready, to see that. Let me radar scan you. Slowly.
Well. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, this will have to be my favorite stop of the wasteland. <laughs> uh. So who are you? What do you do here? Why, my little bear of teddiness. I am Dr. Dalla, first head chief researcher of mineralogy and medicinal sciences. I have 211 doctorates in both applied sciences and techniques to apply those sciences. I also possess a degree in curiosity and advanced curiosity. That is merely schooling, however. When possible, I prefer fieldwork and observation to holotape eidetics. It has proven useful, especially now. I have become the expert on humanology and lobotomite behavior here at Big Mountain. My research doesn't descend into formography. It is only science. Uh... 211 doctorates? How is that even possible? That is impossible! Why, we create not only scientific marvels here at Big Mountain, but new sciences as well. Everything can be quantified, categorized, and dissected until every group can be subgrouped or partitioned. Uh, well, first head, uh, first, first head chief researcher, that's uh, a lot of titles. What is a name without a title or a suffix for the sake of hierarchy? It is a long-standing quantification of personality and importance. We could not do without it. Surely you must be aware of the gravity of such attached appellations, just as surely as you must have a title. Uh, I'm a, sometimes called a courier. Oh, a mailman. A delivery man. Someone who takes parcels from place to place using their primitive feet or similar conveyance. You are the second one I've met in recent times. Very different specimens. Uh, there was another courier? Of course. You must have met others in your travels. This one had met other couriers too. Although it sounded as if he hadn't met the correct one. He asked us all many questions, and then he asked a most perplexing one. We had to segment the event out of our memories for safety. Uh, what was the question? I do not know, nor should we try to access it. Perhaps Klein has the logs. My evaluation would be to let your own curiosity go. I do not think that Klein remembers the conversation as being satisfactory. So, uh... Oh, really? Another quest? Uh, so why did you remove my brain, and how? Even though they've already stated this a couple of times? Oh, removing it is a simple procedure. Well, except the complications it can cause to the heart and spine. But once the heart and spine are gone, no trouble at all. Clamp the subject down. One laser incision around the skull. Crack. Snip. Done. The brain is finally free of the skin envelope, which is then kept automated for cleanup duties around Big Mountain. Lobotomites. With you, however, something is definitely wrong. We've never had a lobotomite who kept speaking after being forcibly lobotomized. I am relieved the pacification field is working. If it didn't, I would broadcast some concern to my colleagues about safety protocols. Uh... But how am I still talking and walking around? That is a good question. My theory is that the Tesla coils in your brain pan are still connected to your brain somehow. It really could be anywhere. Brains are a lot smarter than most researchers give them credit for. We still have your spine and heart. If you were to somehow find your brain, wherever it slurped off to, you could humanically reduce yourself again. Okay, uh, I feel strange in here. Peaceful, but on edge. It is the pacification field emitters that are broadcasting into the emptiness of your skull. 
Without a brain, your aggression is suppressed in here. Uh, is there any way to shut it off? Why would you want such a thing? You might surrender to your hormones and commit primal aggression on me, on us, again and again. Then I would have to return the favor, Ooh. activating my vivisectors and gently lobotomizing you from behind. What? Not something I would what? relish doing. No, the only way to circumvent the field is to have a brain. And we extracted that like we do all the lobotomites here. Okay, I have other questions. An interrogation. How fascinating. Please begin. Alright, did I have any... Oh, yes, I do have shit here. Uh, can you tell me about Dr. Mobius? Dr. Mobius? A monstrous brain creased with wrinkles of a thousand evils, with but one jaundiced eye with which to perceive the world. Exiled from the think tank for crimes too heinous to remain in recorded memory. And perhaps differences in research methodology. His one terrible eye forever peers at us. An eye of ever-increasing magnification. He watches from his dome in the Forbidden Zone, spying on us all. Okay. Uh, so, I don't understand how the tech Klein wants will help. It'll all become clear. If not, at least we will have the technology here at the Dome, where all technology belongs. When we have all the technology, all the answers, we can share it with the world. Piece by piece, all will be in order, and all will be like Big Mountain. Okay. Uh, can you tell me about the uh, Big Empty? Uh, Big Mountain? This mountain, now Crater, encompasses the sum total of knowledge of humankind. It is Big Mountain, where all questions can be answered. You'll see, no matter what your questions... Big Mountain will provide the answers, as it has done for so many before you. Uh, previous test subjects? Oh yes, we've had other subjects visit. It's why we had to calibrate the pacification field and warm up our brainial beams and vivisectors. Only a short time ago, we had three minus one subjects arrive, and they ruined several experiments and even injured two of our staff. It is a shame their brains left with them. With you, however, we have taken precautions to ensure that problem won't repeat itself. We've conditioned you so you can't speak of this place, discuss our secrets, or attempt to use force against us in any way. Isn't that nice? Uh... What did you... Why did you say three minus one subjects before? Because three minus one is two. Two spoke to us, one after the other. One mean, one curious. But there was a third we didn't speak to. The last one is the minus one. It got traumatized, then taken to one of our medical centers for de-traumatization. A rather unsettling procedure. Uh, what happened with the visitors? Ask Dr. O. And you could have asked eight once, until he was severely damaged in the attack. We like him better this way. Okay, that's enough. Until our next interaction, my intriguing little lobotomite. Hmm, I don't know about you guys, but I think Casey Anthony really likes Dr. Dollar right now. Okay, so... Stop hovering. What is this quest I currently have? It is... Ask Dr. Klein about the conversation he had with the last visitor. The visitor to the big empty. Alright. Yo, bitch! Gonna mention my fucking feet again? Huh? No? Okay. Did you retrieve the technology? No, shut the fuck up. I heard one of the previous visitors to the dome spoke to you. Asked you some questions. Hmm? Oh, yes, the last visitor. Well, the one just before you. An interesting name from some language that's almost impossible to speak. What did we speak about? Melancholy fellow, had questions about uh, history, but... Our conversation got interrupted, twice, I believe. Once when the trains got derailed, and then a second time. 
Oddly enough, now that I'm accessing my databanks, I don't recall what the second time was. Mobius's incessant transmissions keep distracting me. Also, we didn't brain scrub the visitor. He may have left with some knowledge he shouldn't have. I believe, maybe. Oh well, I'm sure it's of no consequence. I don't make many mistakes in calculation or perception, so probability favors me. Sure. All right, adios. Yes, a most goodbye. Yeah, there's uh, like a lot of this dialogue. Well, maybe not a lot of it, but some of it is actually uh, useful information. Uh, given the context of it, actually. Let's see if I should... Oh, I can't wait in here? Alright, I'm gonna save. Because that was an hour of fucking dialogue. Which is, uh, a little cray-cray. Uh, okay, yeah, save, uh... Right there. Okay, and, uh, I'll BRB. I need to reset the recording and stuff.